Okay, will do. Okay, Saria, would you like to um, would you like to show get ready to show everybody um, how easy this um, uh, to to interface the telephone with Teddy is? Okay, thank you so much. That would be wonderful. Okay, well, I'm gonna let you go real quick. I suppose, and um, <clears throat> I'm going to give it a, expl a, a, a make a brief explanation as quick as quickly as I can. I'll have other video topics for later. Cool. Go ahead and send it. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye. Okay. Talk later. Okay. So basically, this is a lot easier than... Uh, uh, that's my favorite thing about it. Um, I can... Just about anybody, if you have a working Teddy Ruxpin, Rolls of Wonder Bear, probably this will work with probably any similar... Worlds of Wonder toy from that era. We're gonna just uh, strip Teddy down, and um, we're gonna turn him off right now to conserve battery, because I just had to replace the batteries after a couple uses. He is hungry for C batteries, and with that being said, um, with that being said, uh, I think the next episode of. Uh, Tinker and with Teddy is going, I'm going to be Frankenstein and two bears together. Um, and that one will have a um, wired power supply and eventually a uh, rechargeable um, battery system. But, and that one will become the new Bluetooth bear. And this one will go back to being, well, my best condition bear. Um, so anyway... This is actually all it is is simply an off the shelf um, Bluetooth receiver, which I simply just have Velcro to him. Um, they're like twenty dollars at Walmart. And it comes with all kinds of cool adapters and stuff. Um, and and then simply the most difficult part of this, which it's it's hard to even say it's difficult. We can just disconnect that. That can be charged separately is the um, cassette mechanism and the main reason the main reason that this uh, cassette mechanism can't can, can trip you up is because on the original worlds of wonder tapes there are two holes at the bottom of the tape and uh, those are similar to uh, metal type 4 housing cassettes and in another episode I'll go much much more extensively about the cassettes but what's most important is that you must remove this portion either in this case this incidentally this particular model um, had a piece that simply pried out and once you pry that out what that allows it to do is to bypass, I don't know if I can get a get a view of it in there. But there is a switch, a little shutoff switch right here, and if that's depressed, like by putting a normal Type One housing that's unmodified into it, then this will turn off the electronics in the uh, face of the bear. This little switch here. So you have to either remove that bottom or carefully drill. Two small holes without damaging the cassette in precisely the same place as, as to where that where that tape mechanism is. As long as you don't trip that, you can bypass audio to both sides of of the bear. And um, the other the other handy thing is that um, oh, and you want to make sure that your play 
goes in exactly the direction because I know that there's different models of these. Some are not made to go backwards and we don't want to damage these 30 year old parts. And another, a, um, another handy tip for, with, with this is that, okay, got to put that in there gently. Is, is that what you want to do with the cable is not run it this way, run it back behind the tray this direction because when you do like that this door will now close securely and not pinch this cable too terribly hard then it's a simple matter of connecting your Bluetooth receiver which fortunately is charged and the way the animation is work, working is absolutely no programming whatsoever. It is just incidental and serendipitous um, interactions, probably with the harmonic undertones of the dialogue or words that are going through the bear. And um, it's not perfect. It's not a perfect solution. Animation is never going to be as good as, say, if you if, if you manually program the bear, which I will do. Probably do a video about how to actually uh, manually program your own tapes and modify the um, a Type One tape to um, so that you know you're not copying over the original Worlds of Wonder tapes. With all that being said. I'll see if we could do another quick demonstration or two before um, I uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, I'm like nervous. The C battery is ten dollars every time to put back batteries into this Teddy, which is why um, wall outlet Teddy is likely going to uh, be replacing this bear when we build it. So, with that being said, got my cell phone. He's not really, he's not wired to anything. Um, I should still be connected. We can Would have been handy if I made a text to speech app. Let's say hello to Heart. Obviously, I can't play um, copywritten pr protected content from YouTube, and I don't really have a lot of content on my video that I necessarily pipe through him. Maybe. Hello. It's so nice to hear your voice. How? It's nice to hear yours too. How are you doing again? Nice to hear you again. How do you do? I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking. Well, I just wanted to tell everybody that um, one other thing that you should probably keep in mind is that um, you want to try not to play a bunch of ruckus audio through the teddy bear because these are 30 year old servos and um, stuff that's kind of fragile. It works best if you use stuff that has dialogue or monologue. Oak thinks I'll keep that in mind. 
Thanks a lot, Saria. Maybe somebody um, else will call me. I could demonstrate a uh, human phone call through through Teddy Ruxpin. Sure, NP. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. So, I mean, we could try some audio from one of my videos real quick and see if it works. I think last time I tried it, the audio didn't play. Yeah, it just appears to be this video. So let's try. <coughs> let's try this video. This is Bodie Bird, and today I really wanted to bring to you, um, you know, hoping to link today. And however, it's not going to be possible because I wanted to do the video outside, like the last one, but. It's raining really badly. So. so there's an example of that. Clearly, um, you could play um, a variety of um, things. Um, maybe if the... Uh, I'll, I'll give a demonstration of, of uh, music from my channel. And uh, it, 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 should, it should demonstrate why this is more ideal for using either for phone calls or um, video that's primarily monologue and not really heavily music. And a lot of it too is uh, it's important. Another important thing to keep in mind is um, having your uh, writing the volume button on your phone so that you're not oversaturating the um, uh, audio frequencies going to the face. So particularly with music, you'll want to turn it way down and then turn Teddy up instead. So anyway, uh, that's pretty pretty decent demonstration, I think. Um, I, I I believe uh, next ne next time I make another video um, about this, uh, we'll be uh, rectifying the whole battery thing. And right now, that's sort of uh, the biggest thing I'm nervous about because I I definitely want to save that battery for um, another project. But um, I'm going to cut it here and then um, we'll uh, um, see if we can't have uh, take a phone call in a little bit.